Well, if you've been eyeing Google Glass, today is your lucky day. Google announced that it would hold a one-day sale of the wearable device for the public today. The eyewear became available this morning for $1,500. Now, while the device is certainly getting quite the attention, it could soon be marginalized but by what will seemingly be Google Glass 2.0. The company filed a new patent application for an idea for contact lenses embedded with tiny cameras for various uses, including uh, photographing what the user sees. But it seems Google is focusing on much more right now than just tech eye candy. This week, we also learned that the internet giant has acquired Titan Aerospace, a company that manufactures drones, which can stay in the air for extended periods of time. With the acquisition, Google will be able to not only bring internet to remote parts of the world, but also use the drones to perfect their mapping services. Google has officially extended its reach into a number of different sectors, from acquiring new technology all the way to acquiring new political relationships. Take a look at this. This is the amount of dollars Google has shelled out over the last decade for lobbying in Washington. The company's federal lobbying spending now ranks in par with the largest U.S. corporations active on K Street. The company went from 213th place in 2004 to second place in 2012. Dollars have been spent on everything from preserving its ability to collect consumer data to being able to assure consumers that they will shield user data from the government, especially in light of last year's NSA revelations.